Hello everyone. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update as uh, I think most of you are aware. Last Sunday after the, con after the sermon, after the worship service, we had a brief congregational meeting. We talked a lot about uh, reopening and uh, some concerns were raised with regards to um, singing. Uh, are we going to be singing and is there a greater risk in singing indoors? And so I mentioned that we were having an elder meeting uh, this week and that we would talk about that after getting some input. Uh, many of you also responded after the congregational meeting. One thing is uh, crystal clear. Uh, there's, not a, um, there's not common agreement on how we should go about uh, restarting and re reopening. So let me restate some things, hopefully with even more clarity than from before, before I talk about our, our decision that we made uh, today. Uh, number one, probably the most important thing that needs to be said is the principle that we saw in Romans 14. Everyone needs to decide in their own conscience what would be the right thing to do in terms of uh, assessing the risks of returning to in-person worship. Everyone needs to uh, respect everyone's decision in that process. What we want to avoid, what, to, what I want to avoid, is implying in any way whatsoever that the brave people are the ones returning, the scared people are the ones staying home. Uh, that, that is simply uh, an absolute uh, untruth. Um, everyone needs to figure this out for themselves. Um, we, are, we are not offering an in-person worship service because people want to get back together and see one another. We're offering an in-person worship service as one option to continue to help people worship and to appreciate and value the, the sense of being together um, in person. One thing that is true of every single person that I have interacted with, we all want to be back together again in person in a safe environment, worshiping the Lord. That is the most important thing of all. So, we recognize that there is some significant risk to singing uh, in person in terms of, uh, well, I won't go into all the engineering and medical details of that. Let's just leave it at that. So in an attempt to try to solve this problem, this is what we're going to do. Keep in mind, uh, this is experimental. This is what we're going to try for now, uh, and that is, during the uh, next three Sundays, not starting this Sunday, but starting June 14th, the three Sundays of June after that, uh, so June 14th, 21st, and 28th, we are going to be experimenting with a outdoor service where the risk is significantly less. We're looking into some of the variables we have to deal with with that. If it turns out that there's, it's going to rain or that it rains in some ways, then uh, unexpectedly, then what we will do on that day is we will sing outside and then we will come in uh, and social distance and worship inside. But for now, we're going to uh, trust the Lord and we're going to attempt an outdoor service for the first three Sundays uh, of uh, June in the lower parking lot. Again, please uh, be patient with us as we try to figure out how to move toward uh, that place we all want to be someday. And by God's grace, I'm confident we will get there. Uh, so um, thank you for praying for us. Many of you uh, sent me detailed, uh, helpful uh, emails, uh, calls, whatever, uh, along with the other elders. And so uh, pray for us and pray for these churches as they regather. Uh, many have already started regathering, so um, let's move forward and uh, see what the Lord will do.